What's up, guys? Steve from Scotch and Things. Hey, um, stay with me. It's gonna be kind of went on a a hinderer tear this last week. I decided to. I mean, like I said in this unboxing video, I've had five of them, and I've carried them and liked them, but I just can't commit. To keep them in the collection so i went on a bit of a tear partially keith's fault partially i'm just impatient um and was i guess you know what it is now half track usa made blade keith was there we were on usa made blades live stream the other night thursday friday night something like that and they they didn't give away but they do a thing what's in the box where you get a chance to win a special knife and it was a signature series half track full tie well then he said right after that well if you stay up really late we're going to have usa made blade if you don't know they oh cool bunch of a couple more stickers they do a bunch of um, all the jazz there. They do a lot of customizing in-house. Um, I've never had one, and they were going to do um, half tracks, and I've never had a half track, but they were going to do working finish with their bronze anno. So this was a working finish knife, and then they anoed it. Um, bronze, the hardware, and all the titanium. Looks pretty good. There was black and blue. I tried for the blue black, and it was gone. And I got this. And so one of the reasons, I mean, I like the way it looks. This could definitely use some better bearings. Can you flick it from here? Um, oh, and it's an S45, which I love. So, if you know, I've had two of the XM18 3-inch. Boy, this thing is just gritty. I wonder if that's from their Anno. It needs to break in. We will see. It's crazy how that screw comes through more. Is that normal, guys? I'm not... Maybe the pivot's really cranked down. If you look here, I mean, that screw does not. Or is it just one size screw because that thing is so much thicker? You guys that are more familiar with Hinderer or Half Track, did they just crank that down and that's why this action is horrific? It's got a a little fuller there. I wonder if I can. I thought I've seen people flick. Who knows? We'll we'll see. Anyway, S45. Getting off track. Like I said, went on a hinder tear. Um, and I do like that better already. So I've had two of the XM18 three inch, but just couldn't really. It just never really jived with me. And I like a big knife and a small knife. Lately, I've just been carrying a lot of big knives. Um, and I thought I'd give this a try. So, I'm going to, yeah, I didn't know if I was going to sell this. I wish the choil was a little bit bigger. But, um, I mean, honestly, because you need to be up here. That choil could be a tad, tad bigger. But, yeah, so far, Keith let me know, or you guys let me know that got him. I mean, it's very, very gritty. Just might need to tear it apart and clean it out. Maybe different bearings. Or has he just got that cranked down way too much? Um, cool looking knife. I like it. So, yeah, I think I'll keep it for now. Um, like I said, went on a a hinderer tear 
Got this yesterday. Got this today. This was supposed to show up yesterday. Funny story. Most of my mail comes through Omaha, and then goes to Lincoln, and then gets to me. This got to Omaha, and then went to Elkhorn, Nebraska, which is literally a suburb of Omaha. Then back to Omaha, then Lincoln, then me. Gotta love it. Mail does funny, funny stuff sometimes. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if this breaks in. Otherwise, I'm gonna I might tear into it later and and check it out. It's really, really. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the looks of it, and I like the feel of it. It's kind of a, it's a small knife, but it's a little bit bigger. I thought about maybe carrying it at work as a backup knife. You know, big guy, little guy, because sometimes, you know, sometimes I don't need a knife at that big. So, we'll see. I'll carry it for a little bit, but I, I was really thinking, hmm, I really like S45. You know what guys what angles what angle do you guys sharpen your hinders on um because keith's xm 24 is just wicked sharp and hinders factory edges just they suck i mean let's be honest so what angle do you guys use um so yeah, and also sharpening systems. I have that, what is it, uh, God, the uh, work sharp precision adjust or something, but I've been looking at um, maybe like a KME or a, I want to get better at sharpening, um, a KME or a TS Prof. And what's nice about the TS Prof is my local knife dealer carries them and has them in stock. So what do you guys use down below? What do you think of the half track? I um, I kind I always thought they were kind of ugly, and then I got so excited the other night watching that live stream, hoping to get a chance to. Ugh, I I know guys can flick that with that fuller. Um. Yeah, cool. Just a show and tell. I really like. That they bronze that out though. That looks very cool. Handy little knife, I think. We'll test it out. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, man. I'll talk to you later. Bye.